sometimes caregivers are surprised that we want to teach skills to them rather than directly to the children who are having these problematic or challenging behaviors. And there's a few reasons for that. Child challenging behaviors can kick off a cycle that affects the whole family and we start to fall in these automatic ways of responding and reacting to each other. And sometimes those patterns can start to make child behavior and parent stress and parenting uh, even more of a problem. So let me show you an example of what this looks like. So if we start here in the upper left, uh, maybe we've got a child to begin with who has just some difficulties self-regulating. They may have big emotions. They may get overwhelmed easily, frustrated easily, and have trouble sticking with things that are hard for them. They may be impulsive, do things without thinking it through, and get distracted and off task easily. So what, what starts to happen is that um, this is a more challenging child to parent. There are a lot more demands on the parent than there are for parents of other kids. So you're having to give a lot more correction, a lot more negative feedback than other parents are. You're having to repeat yourself a lot and give lots of commands. And it's also harder to be consistent because your child's behavior may be really inconsistent and may catch you off guard sometimes. So over time, kids kind of feed off of this interaction and it's unpleasant to have somebody giving you tons of instructions, correcting you all the time. Kids start to feel like, um, I can't do this, or why even bother if I'm gonna mess it up? So then we see children more and more not following directions, maybe on purpose, maybe just not trying as hard to stay on task. We may start to see them looking for negative attention, so seeking attention in ways that may be annoying or maybe frustrating for caregivers, uh, and also starting to just argue more and flat out resist doing things that they're asked to do. Now, this is a very stressful situation to parent in, right? You've got a child who um, is needing just way more care and attention than before, and parents start to feel naturally overwhelmed. You feel burned out. You feel like you're walking on eggshells, expecting the worst. Um, and this is a stressful state to live in for the whole family. That stress in turn um, can lead to more negative interactions between parents and kids. And we see an escalation of different problematic behaviors than we started with. So maybe now we're seeing more explosions. We're seeing flat out defiance, refusal to do things that are expected, more anger, tantrums. Or for some kids, they may start to develop more emotional problems where they feel bad about themselves. They feel like they're constantly screwing up. They feel like um, people aren't enjoying spending time with them. And they might start to feel anxious that they could constantly mess up at any second. As this pattern goes on, it's even harder to parent and parents start relying on less effective parenting strategies. Things you know aren't gonna work out well, but you just feel you have no other choice in the moment. So this may include getting in on a lot of things, not, in, not sticking with the usual bedtime, not having kids go through their routines that you'd really like them to, um, not trying to get the tablet away from them because it's such a struggle, giving up on, on trying to hold firm on consequences and follow through with things you said you would do. And importantly, um, nobody's having fun. Right? Parents aren't going to be setting aside time to play one on one with their child when they feel like it blows up in their face and it's just not a good time. They may plan fewer outings and just, um, just not go out of their way to create those positive interactions. So this is just not a good time for anyone and it's, it's a cycle that feeds itself and it gets worse over time and more ingrained and it kind of becomes this rut that families get stuck in. So how do we help you break this cycle? We've got to dislodge this cycle from the rut and give you some different strategies so you can start to build a more positive family cycle. So here we are, and um, there are a few places to start, but a lot of our programs start with just some simple positive parenting strategies. So instead of feeling like you have to give constant corrections and, and reprimands, we wanna increase positive attention in a, in a few different ways. We wanna give you strategies for creating more structure at home so things are predictable 
and it's easier for you to follow through on the consequences that you need to give because you've planned them in advance and everybody knows what they're going to be. So once parents are giving more positive attention and consistency, then we start to see kids re-engage, right? They find ways to seek positive attention instead of negative attention. And they're clear on what the expectations are so they can try to actually meet them. They don't feel like it's this, this vague uh, expectation that's too hard for them. Now it becomes a little easier to parent, a little less stressful to parent because you've got a game plan in your mind. And we also work with parents on just dropping the rope in that tug of war, that arguing, negotiating, um, repeating yourself over and over. And we want to help parents feel empowered to give calm, consistent responses and feel good about following through. Over time, we start to see a pattern of more positive behavior. Kids are having successful experiences that builds their self-confidence. They feel good about themselves. They start to put in more effort on things. And they also are going to have more respectful behavior because they understand where the boundaries are. Uh, and they're working more to please adults rather than to get negative attention. And in turn, families can have realistic expectations for what, uh, what everybody's going to do, how we're going to treat each other. That relationship can become more fun and enjoyable again. And importantly, parents can start to create more of a culture of fun family traditions spending one-on-one -on -one time together, spending time doing things together as a family um, without demands and requests on the table, just enjoyment. And we can break this, this negative cycle loop and start to create a new positive cycle. So this may resonate with you in terms of what's going on with your child and family. And if so, you may be interested in what we call parent behavior management training. And one of the other videos talks a little bit more about what will happen in that type of treatment.